Hello citizens, this is Councillor John Carlo Carra. Uh, this is a Ward 9 TV specifically talking about the future of governance and communications in the communities of Greater Forest Lawn. So if you're a resident of any of the amazing neighborhoods of Greater Forest Lawn, uh, please pay attention and uh, think about how you might want to get involved with what we're doing. So on April 3rd, Wednesday evening last night, I had the opportunity to host an amazing collection of community leaders uh, from Greater Forest Lawn at Mom's Place right on International Avenue. And we had dinner together and we talked about where we're at as a city and an opportunity that's before us. Now, the opportunity that's before us is exactly in line with my Great Neighborhoods mission at City Hall. Uh, Great Neighborhoods is a five-point transformation that I've been pursuing at City Hall since 2010. And this relates really to point one and point two and point three of Great Neighborhoods. Point one is that if Great Neighborhoods make a great city, and they do, we should plan and organize ourselves as a city around that outcome. Point two is that who, who are Great Neighborhoods? They're not just the people who live there, but they certainly are the residents. They're also the businesses. They're also the institutions. And because our neighborhoods are always changing, what we really need to do from a governance perspective is we need to get the residents, the businesses, the institutions together around tables. We need to talk about where have we come from, where are we at, and where we want to go and drive the change rather than react to the change or try and hold back the change. Drive the change that makes the most sense for our communities. That level of governance is just critical to making great neighborhoods and, and, and creating the best possible future for our communities. And then point three is how do we organize the city services that, that, that work in service of our amazing communities. And I believe that the Great Neighborhoods Mission believes that what we need to do is we need to create frontline interdisciplinary teams of civil servants who are plugged directly into the work of neighborhoods and interfacing with communities and neighborhoods. So over the last eight years, we've got the planning down. Uh, well, we don't have it down, but we've got it on track. Uh, we've got the reorganization happening, and right in the middle is the neighborhood governance. And what we met last night about on April 3rd uh, was to talk about piloting this next generation of community uh, governance. How do we get not just residents around the table, but how do we get businesses and institutions, and what's the right scale to do it? And so what's happening at the city is we're moving to a multi-community approach. We cannot do forward-looking master planning. We cannot put interdisciplinary teams of civil servants in play for 160 communities across the city. That's just, that's, it just doesn't scale. It doesn't make sense. But we can do it for 40 or 50 multi-community groups. And we're at the point now where we're doing planning at the community group level. We're thinking about how we organize ourselves uh, as, as, as civil servants at the community level. And now we have to get that governance level right. And I met with uh, community association presidents. I met with uh, the business community. Uh, we met with the schools. We met with the faith communities. We met with service providing uh, organizations last night and sat around and we talked about the fact that we have the opportunity now to go to Council's Innovation Fund and pilot what that next generation of community level governance would look like, how that would plug into community, multi-community level communications, and, and, and the role of our community halls as, as sort of a future uh, integrated civic facilities, how all of our community halls and our schools and our churches can become hubs of community life and how coordinating the particular offerings of each one across a, a multi-community landscape makes sense. The best place in the city to do this piloting work, in my opinion, are the communities of Greater Forest Lawn. That was my pitch last night to this group of leaders and everyone said, yeah, let's start thinking about that. Uh, we're putting together the, the plan and if you're interested in reviewing sort of how we ask for funds and then how we roll out and start to firm up what this looks like, please contact us. If you're interested in being around that table, please contact us. We don't know exactly what this is going to look like, uh, but we want to make sure that we, you know, supercharge this and make make it all good and we eliminate the harm. There's a lot of concern about, you know, do we have the boundaries right? There's a lot of concern about, you know, 
what does each individual organization, will it get subsumed and lose its character? The answer is no, we don't want to do that. Will individual communities within the communities of greater forest lawn lose their character? No, we don't want to do that. We want to actually, you know, we want to understand the multi-community, the individual community, and then the sub-community, and how all of our organizations and our lives sort of interconnect in that ecosystem. So there's great communication and all of that. How does that work? We've got to figure that out. We're going to do it in Greater Forest Lawn, and I want you to be involved. Please contact us.